there are other ways to define correlation, an important one being rank correlation. In this video we'll go over one way to compute rank correlation, which is an example of an important type of statistic called a rank statistic. First, let's define some mathematical terminology. Roughly speaking, a monotonic function never changes direction. More concretely, the definition of a monotonically increasing function is a function which is non-decreasing. So all that means is that as we increase the x value, the y value either increases or stays the same. The three figures here all show monotonically increasing functions. The definition of a monotonically decreasing function is similar. It is one that is non-increasing, meaning a monotonically decreasing function always stays constant or decreases as x increases. A linear function is an example of a monotonic function, but other functions are monotonic too. We studied linear correlation in the previous video, which determines if there is a linear relationship between data. How can we quantify if there is a monotonic relationship between two data sets? To do this, we first need to talk about ranks. Ranking data is a very simple idea. So say we have a data set like this one. We first sort it, then the ranks are just positions of the elements in the sorted list. Note that we sometimes have ties. So there are different schemes for dealing with ties, but for calculating correlation, we average the ranks of the equivalent values. So the three different values of 18 would have ranks seven, eight, and nine. The average of these three numbers is eight, and that is assigned as the rank for all of the 18s. Now we can calculate a correlation coefficient using the ranks. Here I'm using the notation that R of XI means the rank of XI, and the bar as before denotes the average. Sum up all the values and divide by the total number. It might not be obvious, but this is the exact same formula for Pearson's correlation, but using ranks instead of values. If you don't believe me, go back and look at the previous video and plug in the definition for sigma. Now let's see how linear correlation, also called Pearson correlation, compares to rank correlation, which is also called Spearman correlation. Here are some data which is roughly linear related. For this kind of data, Spearman's and Pearson's correlations are very similar. In this case, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Here's an example of a non-linear but monotonic data. In this case, Spearman's correlation is exactly one, indicating perfect monotonicity. Obviously, the data isn't linear, so the Pearson correlation coefficient, while still high, is not exactly one. When there is no relationship between x and y, then both correlation coefficients will be close to zero. One of the most important uses of Spearman's correlation and other related rank statistics is their robustness to outliers. So here we have a small cluster of data, which is clearly separate from the main bulk of the scatter plot. These outlier points drag down the Pearson correlation, but the Spearman correlation remains high. So the Spearman correlation is less sensitive to strong outliers because outliers are limited to the value of their rank, meaning that they have less overall influence in the sum that computes the correlation.